Today we have a very special guest on our show. For all those who watch MasterChef Australia, you already know her well. She has been impressing the judges with her wonderful, unique dishes and winning a lot of fans in Australia as well as overseas. Whether it's her green curry cake, tandoori chicken, tiffin bento box, or chicken biryani, this passionate cook has always raised the bar with her incredible culinary skills and been the one to watch out for. Yes, she is none other than the Indian origin chef Dipinder Chibber, who's taking the MasterChef Australia by storm. Dipinder, welcome to Bollyards.com. So firstly, tell us what made you decide to participate in MasterChef? Uh, what was your inspiration? Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, look, MasterChef has been like a dream for me ever since I started watching it. And I've been watching it since I was like a little girl. And I actually filled out my application form a few times, but I just never had the courage to submit it because I didn't think it would be good enough, you know, to go on a platform as big as MasterChef Australia. And I think last year with the the environment that we were in with, you know, COVID-19 happening and all those kind of things, I think it just motivated me to kind of just do it there and then because um, I was seeing so many changes around the world, especially in our country as well, you know, like Victoria was in lockdown for the longest period of time. We were all working from home. So I think that was my motivation. It was like now or never. Like I thought if I don't do this now, like it just felt like the right time to do it. I don't think I'll be able to do it later on. So yeah. I just had to click submit, submit my application. And then I kind of just forgot about it. And then, yeah, I was lucky enough to get a call back from them. Yeah, that's awesome. Can you tell us a bit about your family uh, and community, how they have responded? Yeah, look, my family is, um, they have always been behind me when it comes to MasterChef, like especially my husband, my mom and dad, they've been very positive and, you know, they never really questioned me that if you can do this or not, like, you know, maybe it's too hard. They were just like, yeah, just go for it. I mean, this is just a chance. You have to take that chance. Um, the response that I'm getting now from, you know, especially from fans all over India, as well as my family, friends that I grew up with in Newcastle, as well as Sydney, like it's just tremendous like I did not expect it it feels surreal and it just feels unreal like I didn't I honestly did not expect any not even 10% of this yeah everyone's very glad that you have participated <laughs> I, I think it feels like it like I, I was like maybe I did the right thing <laughs> so did you do any part uh, any preparation at all for MasterChef if yes what were some of the skills or learning areas etc that you focused on are there any tips that you would like to give to upcoming contestants um, I didn't honestly prepare for anything in particular. It was just the cooking that we do every day at home. So that's general Indian cooking. And I've always been interested in food, different types of cuisines, um, especially around regional side of India, because I find that that cuisine needs to be recognised a lot more than what it is, you know, like South Indian cuisine is massive, um, especially, um, you know, like Indo-Chinese cuisine. And then you have the street food, then you have, you know, the East Indian cuisine, then you've got the West and Marathi. There's so many food um, variations that you have as you travel, you know, through India. So I was just researching, but that was just for my own knowledge. And I watch a lot of doc documentaries and a lot of shows and YouTube videos, but I didn't prepare as such. Um, but in future, like, you know, if there's other people out there that obviously would love to go on a platform like MasterChef Australia, there are basic skills that you need to know. That is to, you know, if you're a vegetarian, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult because you need to know how to work with different proteins because there will be no exception made in that sort of area because, you know, if there is a challenge that, like, has beef, you should know, even if you don't eat beef, you should know what a perfectly cooked beef should look and taste like. So, um, I mean, basic skill sets, like working across different proteins, basic sources, um, like, you know, basic cakes and pastries, but not, they, I don't think they expect you to master every area or every type of technique, but they definitely expect you to have your own niche, which for me was desserts as well as baking and Indian food. But besides that, you need to know enough about everything to just kind of scrape through because they are challenges where they present you with items, products that you've never worked with. 
Um, so like the game challenge, you know, like I've never, like we cook with goat and duck, but the other stuff I was just like, oh my gosh, I have no idea. So <laughs> I'm glad I didn't cook in that one, but, um, but it, that was very challenging. Yeah. So as uh, as a participant, you, you've touched a bit on this uh, in the previous question, but as a participant with Indian background, was there anything challenging for you at all in MasterChef? And do you think your focus on Indian cuisine has helped you put yourself strongly in the competition? I honestly didn't think I would be cooking Indian food that much, honestly. Like I, I knew that I would have to bring it out every now and then. Um, but I didn't think that I would be cooking it as much as I did. So I did a lot of baking and I did a lot of other things that I love to do at home because I do a lot of cakes and pastries and I bake tarts and I do macarons and profiteroles and those kind of things. But I didn't really prepare Indian food, you know, to take with me to the show. But as a contestant from an Indian background I don't think I was at any disadvantage I mean because we live in Australia and whoever comes on to the show um, or whoever gets past the audition processes you can just tell that their knowledge about food is quite vast like they even though you know that like I come from an Indian background so there was a lot of things that I didn't know um, but that's your time to just grasp and learn you know you have to be like a sponge and you have to be willing to learn Uh, and living with other contestants is really beneficial because everyone has different specialties. So I was learning from different contestants. Almost every day you learn something new. When you go into the MasterChef kitchen, you see new ingredients. And I was cur curious like enough to actually take a picture or ask them, you know, what is that ingredient? How do I use that? What does it taste like? I would go out and buy it and then try it. So little things like that because um, – there are a lot of cuisines out there that, you know, not everyone's going to know much about. There was people there that had no idea about Indian cuisine, you know. So um, for them, that was their learning experience. So there's a lot of share, sharing of information and knowledge, which is quite helpful. Yeah, that's great. So tell us about your favourite moment in MasterChef and also is there a particular dish that you're really proud of? Um. Really proud of a dish. Uh, this was a surprise to me. Um, I think the bento box, I think that kind of blew out of way out of proportion that I expected. I was like, this is home food. And when I was making that kind of food, I saw the bento. The first thing that came to my mind was, you know, a tali or like, um, you know, the tiffin that you have. And there's a lot of variations of those things. Every culture has in India, across the country, has a different variation of their thali, right? It's so popular in India, like South Indian thali, and then you have the North Indian thali, then you have the non-veg, veg, like this Gujarati thali. There's so many different thalis. So I was like, I'm going to take that as inspiration and, you know, construct something because we had to do a balanced meal. It had to be it had to be cohesive. At the same time, it should be eaten individually. There was a lot of, lot like there was a lot in the criteria that we had to fulfill. So that challenge I cooked as if I was cooking at home and I didn't even think of the result at the time but I think where I was blown myself um, blown away was when the judges started giving me comments and I was like wow this is actually just like food that we eat at home every day and not just me but every Indian family out there middle class lower class upper class they all eat the same food it's just different variations different vegetables or different lentils but they're eating the same thing It's like, you know, roti, dal, then they have rice and then they have like a sabzi. It's the same thing with pickle. So that's exactly what I created. So I think that would have to be hands down my favorite dish that I made on the show. Um, and it was the easiest dish as well for me, um, at least because it was home food. Um, my favorite moment on the show would have to be from the fire challenge because um, that was a very special shoot because we were shooting overnight and it was just so much fun. Um, you know, the vibe, the way they um, set everything up, you know, we're outdoors, we were in the MasterChef kitchen. It was set up beautifully. So I think that would have to be my favourite challenge or my favourite moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you cooked really well that day as well. Yeah. With and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I, like, that's that's honestly not the reason why it's my favorite moment, but it's just the chat, like the challenge of the, like, as we entered, it was like, wow, this is amazing. Like, I did not expect them to set it up that way. Yeah, it looked beautiful. Yeah. 
So what advice would you like to offer to aspiring contestants of Indian or subcontinental origin? In um, if there's, you know, contestants out there or if there's people that really want to go on MasterChef, I'm going to tell them one thing. It's not going to be easy. And it, it isn't like it's very difficult, um, but it's just how committed you are. And you should just go for it. Like there's no point waiting for the right time because I waited for like two, three years and yes, I, you always upskill yourself, but being on MasterChef, there is an accelerated process where you just learn so many things so quickly. So I would just tell them to just go for it. There's never going to be a right time. I mean, look at the environment that we're, look at the, you know, the, the place that we're living in. Um, anything can happen anytime. So if you are motivated, you're a good cook, you want to go out there, show the world, I think just go for it. Thanks very much, Devinder. It was lovely talking to you. We wish you all the very best for your MasterChef journey and all your endeavors thereafter. Thanks very much. Thanks so much for having me. It was, it's been wonderful.